Uh, Brian gives us the why. My little illustration in eight minutes or less is to tell you how. Uh, to give you an example of one small college, I want to do correct, Jim Leach, we are not on Long Island. I want to assure those listening online who are residents of Staten Island, once again, we have not been lost. <laughs> Put your passports away. Uh, no tetanus shots, you're back in New York City. Um, we are on Staten Island, a small borough of simply 500,000 people, uh, seemingly forgotten people. And uh, Wagner College, uh, 14 years ago, made a commitment to a comprehensive required four-year undergraduate curriculum that links clusters of courses that we call in our parlance in higher education, learning communities, that is several courses connected together with common cohorts of students taking the same courses together with real-world problems in terms of experiential and civic learning. So we've been at this for a while, and my little example is to show that one small, fragile uh, private college can make a fairly serious impact and that we're always mindful that we're always revising our work in light of our activity and our engagement. Uh, but this, commi this commitment has been going on for some time. Uh, we have tried to link the real world texts, or rather the real text of the class with real world problems in a way that's powerful, expands learning of our students, and builds on their natural civic intuitions. For most of those 14 years, we were engaged in something we would call civic engagement or service learning kinds of courses. They tend to be episodic. In our case, they're structured through the freshman through the senior year, but they tend to be episodic because they end at, each, at the end of each semester. They are connected to uh, uh, roots within the community uh, where we can find them and the like. We found that wholly inadequate. Uh, so we launched several years ago in March in 2009 a community partnership with one community in Staten Island where we put about 50% of our uh, student engagement work that is curriculum driven. Again, all undergraduates go through this over the four years. Uh, that community is called Port Richmond. It's about 30,000 people. It's mostly uh, Latino, 50% a Latino, mostly undocumented Mexicans from Hawaka, African Americans about 20 or 25%, the rest Caucasians, mostly white working class, many of them uh, homeowners of modest homes. Uh, it's, a, it's a community of some tension. And we began working with this community, trying to, uh, asking ourselves, when we do service learning work, as we had in the past exclusively, we do good things when it's done well. Students learn more about their subject. They connect with people in the community they wouldn't normally connect with. There's learning going across from the community to the student and vice versa. You build the, the foundations for civic culture, for a sense of reci a reciprocal relationships, a sense of valuing one another, a sense of we, not just me. But it's limited, as I said, in terms of being episodic and individualistic. So we decided to build this, this, uh, this partnership with Port Richmond, taking one community of need uh, and trying to align the sustainable assets of this institution with the ongoing challenges of the community through a democratic partnership, through a cooperative democratic partnership. And we did that. We've been working at it for a couple of years now. In fact, we're trying to take it to another level. So that partnership works this way. We have over 30 courses that are aligned through all of, the, all of the subjects in our curriculum with specific agencies and organizations and efforts in that community. At the moment, we're trying to say, instead of the curriculum looking for outlets in community work, let's work closely with the community, as we have done, to identify what the challenges are and marry them back to the curriculum. So there's a true partnership built around democratic governance structures shared together. And we've done this. We've identified uh, health care issues around obesity and diabetes, which are profound in this community, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, and we have undergraduate and graduate uh, uh, nursing program and undergraduate and graduate physician assistant program. Of course, a very strong pre-med program. A good number of our students go on to medical school. Well, we have a strong business, undergraduate and graduate business programs. Economic development is a huge issue, particularly small business development and microfinance for new entrepreneurs that are trying to emerge in a mostly um, uh, immigrant community. And I, I must say, an African-American community that is largely forgotten here in the mix of all of this. Uh, and of course, we have a strong commitment through a graduate, undergraduate programs in ed teacher education, which are all built on the liberal arts and arts and sciences. They're not, there's no majors in education. They are built on fundamental uh, strength in the disciplines that students are engaged in and then get certified. But those programs also are built around the notion of everything from literacy to college readiness. 
So, and if we think about the way we've used our science courses and our humanities courses, our history courses, performing arts courses in this community, again, all built around taking the existing sustainable assets of our curriculum and aligning them in a way that's ongoing with projects. Our goal now is we're in the middle of a strategic planning process. David Maurice is here. Margaret is working closely with us, and we're part of the Anchor Institutions Group, which has done such marvelous work across the country in community partnerships. Uh, and we're trying to identify then which to make sure we and verify with our community leaders and community residents that in fact we are aligning around the very issues that they find most powerful and most challenging. Uh, our goal here is to do three things. Our goal in this, in this curriculum and this effort really for 14 years and now in this new model of the partnership model is really to first of all fundamentally increase learning in the disciplines that students are taking courses in. That's fundamental. Without that, I fear that these kinds of efforts will wander. They'll, they'll fluctuate with leadership changes, with semester changes. They'll, they'll fluctuate with uh, uh, financial challenges that colleges face and universities face. But fundamentally, we have to commit to the fact that students are learning the disciplines they're studying. But that's only the necessary but not sufficient conditions. The sufficient conditions are also that they increase their civic learning, what it means to be connected to publics which they will serve in the professions in which they choose and they're being prepared for both across the entire curriculum. And finally, of course, the other sufficient condition is that we're actually changing things in a community of need, that there's an impact, a measurable set of criteria annually and over a five-year period of an impact with this community on those very issues that I mentioned in terms of economic development, uh, health care, and education. And we're off to a fairly good start the last three years on this, but I'm not convinced that in and of itself um, just, the, just the effort will make the difference. We then brought in a number of other anchor institutions, as we call them in the anchor institution work, of local banks, foundations, corporations, elected officials across the board from members of the Conservative Party, the Democratic Party, the Republican Party, and a whole host of, of NGOs uh, in this community, again, to coalesce, to be the convener, the facilitator, to really make an impact with and for the community, raising the leadership level in the community and giving it a greater chance to have control over its own destiny. So that's an example of what one school is engaged in and doing. I thought I look in this audience and I can see many, many other examples that from practitioners here that I'm proud to say we're allied with. But this is an example that within the crucible moment, you can have a four-year commitment across the board to civic learning, deepening disciplinary learning as well, and of course having an impact on the community. Thank you very much.